Welcome everyone! Looking to pursue a career in HVAC? HVAC technicians earn $20 per hour on average nationally, and the demand for techs is on the rise. Before entering the HVAC workforce though, it is important to know the different certifications and credentials you might need to work in your state, as different states have different requirements. If you want to learn more about HVAC certification and licensing requirements in Georgia, then please keep on watching. In this video, we'll break down the process and requirements so you can decide if this is the right career for you. If you want more information on this topic, check out the links in the description below. If we missed something, please let us know in the comments. Now, let's get down to business. Let's start with the requirements. In order to become a Georgia HVAC technician, you will need a conditioned air contractor license, your high school diploma or GED, general educational development, an EPA 608 certification, and an NATE certification. After becoming certified, here are some things you can expect. A service technician in Atlanta, Georgia makes an average of $20.38 per hour. If you have additional skills and certifications, you are more likely to make above average wages. The median annual salary for a Georgia HVAC tech is $42,270. Entry-level technicians can expect to start around $27,000, while more senior techs make up to $36,000. Georgia's HVAC salaries fluctuate by location within the state. Those techs with the highest annual wages, coming in at $47,000 annually, work in the Atlanta-slash-Sandy Springs-slash-Marietta area. Augusta-slash-Richmond County have similar salaries. Urban areas aren't the only great locations for work in Georgia. Gainesville has only 110 techs in the area. This has created a demand that helped to drive up wages, like Atlanta's $24 per hour average. This will require you to pass the Conditioned Air License Exam, the NATE Exam, and the EPA Exam. The Conditioned Air License Exam is an open book test. It has 100 questions that you must complete within 7 hours, and you will need to get 70% of the questions correct to pass. It costs $240 and covers regulations, laws, system design, installation, maintenance, and repairs. It may be a lengthy process, but when you're ready for your new HVAC career in Georgia, it'll be worth it. Hopefully this video has given you the information you need to get started. If this has been helpful, let us know in the comments. Also be sure to check out the links in the description below for more information. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a thing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.